Hi, today we're going to look at estimating the area under a curve. Now this is a topic you will have seen at GCSE, is on the specification. However, the difference here is that the expectation to use the trapezium rule to find that estimate. Now the trapezium rule is not on the GCSE specification. You can, obviously if you know the formula and you're able to use it, you can use that on GCSE, you will gain full credit, but it isn't an expectation. Whereas here, uh, on this qualification is the expectation you use a trapezium rule and without using it, you won't gain the credit on the question. And it does state in the question you can see here uh, that we should be using the trapezium rule. So we we'll read through the question. We've got here is a graph of y equals f of x. Uh, apologies, is a, I should say 10. Use a trapezium rule to find an estimate for the region under the curve y equals f of x between x equals one, x equals four and the x axis. And it's telling us to use three strips. So first of all, let's mark on those lines. Obviously, the x-axis is, is already there, so I don't need to draw that. x equals 1 is here. We can draw that in. And x equals 4 is here. So it's this region here that we're interested in finding. Now it's telling me to use three strips of equal width. So first thing we have to do is look at how wide is the region we're interested in. It is three wide. So if I'm using three strips of equal width, each strip will be one wide. Okay, so I'm just gonna mark them. These are my, my strips. There we go. Now to use a trapezium rule, I'm gonna have to work out what the value of f of x is at each of the boundaries of these trapezia. Now, there's two types of questions we can get here. We can get like this one here where we have been given the curve, we're given the function, and we use the graph to find the values of f of x. Or the second example I'm going to look at with you shortly is where we are not given the curve, we're given the function, and we generate those values. So here, because we have the curve, we're going to read off the values from the graph. So I'm interested in the values at each boundary of the trapezius, so each edge. So if we... Read across, that's at four. Read across from x equals two. We get a value of f of x being eight. Read across from x equals three. We get f of x being 14. And read across from x equals four. And we get f of x is 22. So there's all my values. So now what we need to do is we need to plug these into the formula. So if this is my A, B, C, and D. So if we then look at writing out the formula, so my area is going to be a half times the width times A plus D plus two lots of B plus C. Put my values in. So that's a half times the width here is one times a is four, d is 22. And then we've got two lots of eight add 14. And then we just need to pop that into our calculator. 0 0.5 times or 22 add two lots of eight add 14. And we get 35. And that's that nice and straightforward. So that's not very dissimilar. Well, in fact, it's, it's not dissimilar at all. It's the kind of question we could expect on a GCSE specification, with the only difference being here, we're expected to use a trapezium rule. Worth four marks. First mark here is for generating my values. So the 4, 8, 14, 22. We'll be given a mark for stating the trapezium rule, a mark for complete substitution, and a mark for the accuracy of the answer. Okay, so the second kind of example we could get is if we have not been given the curve at all, but we've been given a function. So here it's saying use the trapezium rule to find an estimate for the region under the curve y equals 8x minus x squared plus 16. Uh, it's between x equals 2, x equals 8, and the x axis. And this time it's asked for four equal strips. Now, before I do anything, I'm going to do a quick sketch because I think it, it really helps me to understand what's going on if we have a quick diagram, and it is something that is very much encouraged on this specification, is the use of diagrams. So there's my x 
and my y-axis with the origin. That's a negative quadratic, goes through 16 on the y-axis. So I say it's just a sketch this, doesn't have to be perfect, it's gonna look something like that. I'm interested in between x equals two, x equals eight. So I'm interested in this region here, between uh, here. Okay, I want four strips this time. It's asked me for four strips. So we need to look first of all, what's the difference between the boundaries? So eight take away two is six. So we're dividing six into four equal strips, which is three over two or one and a half if you prefer it as a decimal. So that means each of my strips needs to be one and a half wide. So generating them values for X, we're gonna have 3.5, we're gonna have five, and we're gonna have 6.5. So these will be my boundary lines. And then we will need to generate using the function, my A, B, C, D, and in this case, E as well. So if I work these values out, so my value for A is gonna be when X equals two. So in this case, Y is gonna be equal to eight times two, take away two squared plus 16, which is 28. My value for B is gonna be when X is equal to 3.5. So Y is gonna be equal to eight times 3.5, take away 3.5 squared plus 16, that comes to 31.75. My value for C is when X is equal to five. So Y is equal to eight times five, take away five squared plus 16, and that's 31. My value for D is when X is equal to 6.5. So Y is equal to eight times 6.5, and a 6.5 squared plus 16, which comes to 25.75. And then finally, my value for E, the upper bound, the upper, upper value is gonna be eight times eight, take away eight squared plus 16, which is 16. So there's my values. So these are the values I'm gonna be plugging into my uh, trapezium rule. So here then, we're gonna have area is equal to a half, times the width, times uh, A plus E plus two lots of B plus C plus D. More values, because we've obviously used four strips rather than three, I've read on the previous question. So that's a half times uh, the width, one and a half or three over two. And then times by, we've got two plus eight, and then two lots of, um, sorry, 28, 28 plus 16, and that's then two lots of 31.75 plus 31 plus 25.75. Pop that into your calculator and we get 99.375. And that's it. And and so this is how we would approach this with the trapezium rule. So the key things for you to be looking out for, if you're not given a function, I would always sketch the graph first, get an idea of what we're looking at. The key thing to work out is how wide is each of your strips. So you do the total width between your boundary lines divided by however many strips. So in this case, it was six divided by four. The previous case, it was uh, three divided by three. So each strip was one wide. That gives you your width value. And then you're either going to read off for each of your strips, the Y values or the F of X values from a graph. If you're given a graph, if we're not given a graph, we're gonna generate them by substituting into the function. And again, just like on the previous question, we've got four marks, a mark for generating these values here. We're gonna have a mark for stating the trapezium rule, a mark for complete substitution, and an accuracy mark at the end. Okay, thanks for listening.